Hello everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're talking about a pike hold with your feet slightly elevated. You can use a couch, you can use a couple boxes at the gym, uh, you could use a bench at the gym. Uh, the idea here is we're trying to invert your body so that your head is down and it kind of looks like a handstand. Okay, let's, I'm going to try to keep these glasses on so I can make sure you can see me. So my hands are on the ground, like a normal push-up or a normal handstand. We did a lot of videos on prepping for the handstand and making it more comfortable on your wrists if you care to look them up. Um, same kind of setup as our push-up. I'm probably going to need to bring my hands back just a hair to get closer to the box or the feet elevated portion of this. Uh, I'm going to tuck my hips just to feel my outer lower abdominals. And then I'm going to push my neck away from the ground and my glasses will definitely fall off, but I'm mostly in frame here, so it's okay. Now, I'm going to put my feet up on this box, try to get myself pretty inverted. So I'm going to walk my feet up and then I'm just going to hang on to this. Try to keep my hands flat, my fingers spread and come on down, come on up, come on down, come on up. Now I'm going to try not to push back toward the box. I'm going to try to stay over my hands. That's pretty challenging. Um, if you want a little more shoulder, a little less arm, or if you're feeling kind of uncomfortable there, you can spread your hands out a little bit and let your elbows come out a little bit more. Um, just helps put some pressure on the shoulder muscles and less on those joints if you're feeling awkward or bunched up there. Um, it's just a little harder, I think, to do a handstand when you're way out here because then you have to hold more actively instead of just resting on your uh, through your bones. Uh, it's just physics, right? <laughs> so that is the pike handstand push-up. It's a good progression if you're, you know, if the normal push-up is just not quite hard enough or if you want a more shoulder heavy variation. It's a good way to stress that upper upper body rather than just your your chest area.